Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing one of my favorite frames over the last two decades, and that is the Dita Richton sunglasses. But first off, in today's video sponsor, of course, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 54 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge and as far as styling here goes they look absolutely incredible i love the depth of these frames all the little details here look really nice as well of course these beautiful flat lenses and then again all the intricate details and styling here on the temples just make these frames look absolutely incredible on face and i really really do like the sizing of these as well they honestly look like they're absolutely perfect for my face size which of course is a plus for me as well uh, now one of the that make these frames so innovative is it is the first ever pair of sunglasses to utilize a stacked flat base lens system uh, consisting of an interior and exterior uh, lens. So the interior lens is actually going to be the tinted lens that you're actually seeing the tint through and then the front lens is actually a basically clear photochromic lens. So right now the lens color that you're seeing is the rear lens which is a tinted lens and this is what the these sunglasses are going to look like when you are wearing them indoors. Still really, really good, but as you can see, they're basically a category one or category zero lens when they're not exposed to UV rays, but they still preserve this beautiful, beautiful tint, which allows you to wear these frames indoors. And they're just going to enhance your style and your fit, and you can still make eye contact with people, so they're not going to give an uninviting appearance that something like a category three lens would uh, when wearing them indoors. But as soon as you walk outdoors, and expose them to UV rays, they're going to darken and it's going to completely transform the look of these frames. All right, so I just took a step outside and exposed these lenses to UV rays for about 20 seconds. And here we can see the frames are completely transformed and we can see they offer a more traditional brown lens to them and these darken to a category three. And here we can see again, it completely transformed the pair of frames. We still have this flat lens design here, which looks really, really cool and interesting. And again, Again, these frames are gonna look absolutely incredible when wearing them outdoors, and it just takes a couple seconds for these lenses to activate. Now I'm going to try to continue this video without doing any cuts, so if there's pauses, uh, you'll know why, and I'm gonna do it without any cuts because I want to see you guys because I want to show you guys how these lenses are going to progressively get lighter and how long it's going to take them uh, to go back to their more uh, default lens color with the base lens there on the back. And as you can see here, they're slowly getting lighter, uh, which is really cool. And because of that, the lenses are going to kind of go through transformation between dark and light. And it's just gonna be constantly evolving as far I should say the lens color here is going to be constantly evolving as far as the you know color goes and the balance, which just really kind of enhance the uh, style of these frames. Really, really, really interesting here. Now, one of the downsides of these frames is definitely going to be the weight. These frames, because they do have four individual lenses, are going to come in at 46 grams. So definitely a heavier pair of frames. These weigh basically just as much as an original pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers, which of course have all glass lenses and are made out of a heavy acetate material. So definitely a quite heavy pair of frames. Uh, if you wear them uh, for a long period of time, you're gonna feel a little bit of discomfort there on the nose rest. But that being said, these frames do have a really good balance to them. So you're not going to feel too much pain. You know, you can wear these frames for, you know, definitely hours without having it uh, be Come too much of a, a problem as far as discomfort goes. But if you do wear them for five, six hours, you're gonna see some red marks there on the nose. Now the frames themselves are made out of a titanium material, which of course is extremely lightweight. And they do have these really nice uh, acetate temple tips as well, which are gonna add a little bit to the weight. And they're kind of a hybrid between a skull temple and a bayonet temple, but they're just gonna kind of flow over the ear, uh, adding a really, really cool style to them as well. 
Now, of course, these frames do have fully adjustable nose rests. You can actually bend these out and give them a custom fit to the face as well, which is really nice and makes them very, very comfortable. And as far as some of these styling elements here, we can see in the top left corner of the frames, they say Dita Richten uh, Type 402, which is the exact model number of these frames. And then if we take a look here at the top of the temple, we can see it says Dita. And then on the other side, it says Richten Type 402 there. If we take a look here at the inner right, uh, ear of the frames we can see the model number and it says made in japan and then on the uh, left side we can see it says 5419 and then 143 which are the dimensions of the frames and then taking a look here at the outside temple we can see the little embedded dita shield logo there for authentication purposes as well which is a really really nice touch and then if we take a look at the outside left temple we can see the two different gold plated colors so we can see the yellow gold and the white gold which add a really really cool look and then we can see this kind of exposed titanium color which looks really, really nice as well. Now, these frames have a very innovative design. Again, having a total of four lenses in them with the outer lenses and then the inner lenses. And they're actually going to be attached there with the titanium metal frame and then secured with three individual bands that wrap around the frames. Really, really nice and interesting stuff and definitely not very easy to uh, service these. Definitely not yourself. You're gonna have to take them to uh, somebody who knows what they're doing if you do have to uh, replace these these uh, that is for sure. But again, just a really, really cool and beautiful look there on the frames with those bands. Just really, really nice stuff. Now, one of the problems with this dual lens design is the fact that dust can actually get trapped in between the two lenses. Uh, so with this particular pair of frames, occasionally I'll actually see a little piece of dust uh, that's kind of floating in between the frames. And if you kind of tap it down, you can kind of get it to sit down at the bottom there. Uh, but of course, removing the two is going to be really, really much of a hassle. Oh, not very fun at all. So very much a pain. Uh, so I would not recommend doing that yourself either. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. And some dust can get in there because again, it's just bands that are uh, protecting the two lenses. So there are tiny, tiny micro gaps that can let dust and dirt in these frames. So you definitely have to kind of take care of them. And I'm sure you could take these to uh, Dita themselves or send them off to Dita themselves to have them professionally clean them, uh, maybe for free, maybe for a small fee. They'll definitely have really, really great service, uh, customer service, so you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, having issues as far as that goes. Now, as far as lens clarity goes, these are absolutely incredibly sharp looking lenses. And because the rear lens always has a tint to them, they're always going to be kind of enhancing the colors and the contrast, even if you're wearing these frames indoors, which is really, really nice. And I actually really do like that and enjoy the look of that. And it's gonna be like that all the time where typically photochromic lenses aren't going to have any tint whatsoever unless they're exposed to UV rays. So again, a really, really innovative design as far as as that goes and the clarity is incredible here. And again, when they do darken, they darken very heavily to a category three, which is really nice as well. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, here up top, we can see there's definitely a pretty big gap to let sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the side, again, there is a massive gap to let sunlight in unprotected. And because they do have a flat lens design, there's definitely gonna be some reflections here on the inside of the lens. You're gonna see some kind of heavy reflections here. Uh, and the anti reflective material doesn't work, you know, as good as it probably could. And I think that's just kind of due to the nature of the uh, lens there. So that's something else to keep in mind. Now these frames first released in 2018 with the MSRP of $1,200. And with inflation, these frames are probably much closer to like $1,600 over the past six years. That's about where inflation would be with these frames. Now this pair that I'm reviewing in today's video actually comes out of my personal collection. We actually had one available on our website for the original MSRP of $1,200. And I really wanted to get this video out before those sold. But Unfortunately for those of you watching, except for maybe the one person who bought them, uh, we accidentally uh, listed it as public and it was available for sale and somebody bought them really, really quick. I really wanted to uh, post this video and then allow uh, one of my viewers uh, to go buy that pair of frames for the original MSRP. But again, unfortunately for most of you, uh, that pair already sold out. Uh, so I do have to apologize for that. And unfortunately, again, I'm not selling this pair of frames uh, to anyone. Don't even send me an email. There's really not a realistic number that I would accept for this pair of frames. And this pair of frames is my personal collection, so it is not perfect. Uh, these are plastic lenses or polymer lenses. Uh, so they definitely do kind of scratch pretty easy with their flat lenses. And there are a couple tiny little uh, nicks, but nothing that does affect my vision. 
uh, but just wanted to put that out there as well. Oh, and another downside of these frames is the fact that the flat lenses are, you know, really flat in the face, obviously, and I do kind of have these bushy eyebrows. And when you wear these frames the proper way, uh, my eyebrows actually kind of rub up against the flat lenses. So over time, they're going to get dirty. And then the sweat here is going to kind of drip down the lens slowly. Uh, so definitely a downside, but something I'm definitely, uh, you know, comfortable with wearing regardless of that fact. It doesn't affect me too much, but you're definitely going to find yourself cleaning these frames at least, at least once or twice a day. Uh, so keep that in mind as well. And now, yeah, overall, just an absolutely beautiful and very innovative pair of frames from Dida. Again, it's one of my absolute favorite frames of the last two decades. And it's definitely one of my favorites because they're made out of titanium in Japan. And the build quality here is just absolutely incredible. And of course, the innovative lens design. And uh, most importantly, the styling. I really, really do love the styling of these frames. They just look absolutely incredible on my face, in my opinion. Uh, but let me know what you think about these frames in the, in the comment section down below. Uh, do you guys love these? Do you hate these? Do you own a pair? Uh, let us know. I'm really interested to see if any of you actually own a pair of these frames and what your experience with them is like. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy the video. Uh, if you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.